पर्सनल स्टाइल यू नो अप टिल नाउ वी ऑलवेज लिव बाय आर पर्सनल स्टाइल but nowadays like i said someone asked me so what is the change in the from 90s to now i said now everyone has stylists that's the change so so yeah we 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 definitely have our personal style uh, i always don't get carried away by the fashion designers or the stylists i ultimately wear what i'm comfortable in and i feel what i'm looking good in um if you're wearing low slung hipsters is and it suits you great for you yeah but i don't think it suits me so i'm not going to just wear something because it's in fashion at that time i'll probably just again wear that i feel okay even if i'm a little more conservative uh but i'll feel okay fine i'm better off like this all right yes uh some more questions coming hi Okay now I just to make that clear because there's so much press here I don't have a role in Bombay Velvet uh I've done it absolutely just for fun uh Anurag and uh, Madhu Maintainer the producer are very very old friends I've done shul with them and since then past 20 years we've been friends so these guys were too excited with the songs and everything and they thought I was the only one who could do it uh so they basically just two or three songs which I've done in the film where I'm playing a jazz singer and uh, yeah th- there is a track uh, as in bombay <coughs> velvet the club survives because of me uh, so that's the kind of track that is there and uh, anushka is the 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 other girl who comes in and then there's a little bit of rivalry but uh, it's not like a cameo or anything that i'm doing i'm basically just doing it for fun and i didn't even take money for it so it better be for fun <laughs> <laughs> so we are we going to seeing you on the big screen very soon uh, shop, the way you're doing the shop Yes I'm doing shop yes film. yes honors film is again honor and uh, me and sanjay suri we've been friends since again a very very long time so now if i work i i i work for the fun of it if it's something for me uh, you know interesting enough and fun enough for me to leave home and you know a little bit of my home schedule and give time to this um we've been we we did daman together and since then we've had a great tuning all of us we've been friends actually personal friends for a long time shop interestingly so was supposed to be made originally about 11 years ago with sanjay suri and me uh but then i got pregnant with my first baby and i told him listen i want to enjoy this my pregnancy phase so i don't think i'm going to be working and uh, then now interestingly so he kind of removed the film again and is 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 again making it with some of us yeah so what's your role in that now it's that's that's a love story that's like a triangle uh, love story I'm kind of trying to look like this and that throughout very the film. Very international, right? Yeah, very. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's what it's about. All right, some more questions. Uh, Ravina, up till the most memorable cover job, I think all, all, honestly, all my savvy covers uh, have always been the most uh, memorable. uh i've got uh, again very old uh, bonds and old friendships here sitting next to me uh, nari is here and we've been friends for a long time and i think uh, when he started savvy that was all what the magazine was about about women of substance and i'm glad and touch wood that they've maintained that standard so far because now i am on their cover so <laughs> <laughs> no but jokes apart Honestly, i think it's not one of the virtues ha uh, no it's not so <laughs> so it's uh, i mean jokes apart so seriously that was a joke okay please don't misquote me somewhere <laughs> but um uh, that's what savvy has always stood for and that's what i like because they went behind the scenes behind what the person is all about on screen what you see and it could be anyone it could be a celebrity it could be a sports person it could be anyone so i think that was really really uh, good and uh, i i think most of my innermost interviews or interviews with depth have always been with on on a savvy cover and that's yeah. what i think it stands for yeah. yeah but um tell me um your secret for fitness i mean fitness you run around <laughs> behind two kids and try to balance a home schedule and handle your home staff you know automatically you're so fit i'm sure that yeah. you are an inspiration to so many women out there well, i you have to work hard yeah you know so you are taking that extra step i mean there there are a lot of health you know conscious people who are sitting here who want to take that little tips from you i think eat healthy uh, don't unnecessarily eat, uh, you know diwali is not every day uh-huh. so i had this one week of diwali yeah, and my birthday and everything yeah and and i i did my bit of uh, splurging uh-huh. but i think then uh, a little bit of exercise every day and and uh, and yeah one thing which is very important i see a lot of uh, women and girls do that extra bit they think working out 2 2 hours in the gym 
is 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 the best thing to do but actually not because it kind of makes you age uh, even faster, faster. Yeah, yeah. you know because you're straining your body and pushing it beyond i listen to your body see what it says when it says i've done 40 minutes of walking and i'm happy with it today just be happy with it Yeah, and you know. you've just stopped where uh, the musk musk girl actually <laughs> left. You just right there. I can't so ever be as skinny as you because that's not my body type. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so my my body type is the is the panju broad bones and all. Mm-hmm. So that I'm going to be forever, and I've accepted that. You know, so I think acceptance very, is very important. You have been a very voluptuous girl. All I mean, even your days when you were very you were you know ch- chatting up uh, at the blockbuster, even today. So it it is. Somewhere, I wanted to know, like uh, a lot of uh, health people, health conscious people are here. Are you taking, like, you are exercising, but you are listening to your body? Yes, and, definitely. And more importantly, as you said, that you are running behind your two kids. How has motherhood changed you? Uh, motherhood changed me. I think it makes you more. I, I mean, you know, when you're single and you're traveling and you're in an aircraft, this and that, you don't really care what's happening. You know, you could go any day and you're fine with it. But the minute you have your kids, the whole world changes for you. You know, you open the newspaper and there's a bombing happening there, and there's some Islamic terrorists killing someone there, and something else is happening. And suddenly, you're scared about the world, and all you can think of is how do you want to protect your children, and how do you make this world a better place to live in. And I think that bit of compassion and that bit of worry definitely starts coming into you. You know, you 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 worry about shootings happening in schools, you worry about things happening in you know colleges or shootouts or whatever. And I think that definitely does uh, responsibility. Compassion, everything starts yeah. coming so in a bit. More. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. Evolve from what you were. I mean, that's what I believe. Yeah, you do. Okay. I think I'm. I'm not only talking about motherhood. I'm talking about people even who don't have children. When you start growing, you automatically start evolving. Yeah, within yourself. Yes, yeah, some more questions. <coughs> Ram shouldn't ask me any questions, and I'm fine. <laughs> Did he ask you to ask something? <laughs> I saw that. Ram is the most da- dangerous weapon missile sitting over here. He knows me too okay, long and knows side. me too intently. No, 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 no. She, she first. Definitely, sweet. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little about the color code? You, know, you said that Salman and I didn't get along from day one. Is it work-wise or is it personally? Yeah, you know, I actually called up Sumita later and told her, listen, it better not be the way you know this headline that is going. <laughs> Uh, Salman and me today are very, very good friends. But when Salman and me started working, I think Salman was about 21. I was uh, about, I think, uh, 16 and a half. That when I started doing Patthar Ke Phool, and uh, so for me, you know, it was uh, suddenly starting movies because I had not really, uh, you know, done acting classes or this and that. So when Salman used to tease me, I never, I, 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 I didn't take it right. I was not a good sport. I can say that. So there were, we would be fighting over small, small things. That why are you blowing bubble gum in my face? Because on photo shoot, suddenly Salman decided to blow a bubble in my face, <laughs> and I didn't like it. So I poked the bubble, and then he got angry, and I got angry, and we were, we were fighting over bubble gum. Yeah, for God's sake. <laughs> so it was like, "Mary pencil, kill me." "Tumne mary pencil, kill me." It was exactly like that. But uh, uh, all I can say is, over the years, I think somewhere along, there's a mutual respect and love that 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 did happen, uh, you know, and and is uh, very much there between us. Uh, he is one of the only co-stars I can say. There were a lot of co-stars who claimed to be very, very good friends of mine. I made a film called Stumped, and there was a guest appearance song in it. And I first obviously went to my so-called best friends, and they had different excuses for not doing that song. Some said that song is not good. Some said this is not good. That is not good. I was fine, and I called Salman, and Salman said. Uh, I said, "Do you want to hear the song? Do you want to see what it?" He said, "What time do you want me to be there?" and for how long and i will be there that is all he said he said i don't want to hear the song it's your film i said yeah he said you just tell me and he came at 8 o'clock sharp at film city shot till 2 in the night finished the song i was constantly checking his glass of coke and smelling sniffing it he saying are yaar i won't do this to you so you know it was it was it was awesome of him his staff did not accept any checks for the work they did We gave them gifts. The next day they came back. They said Salman Bhai, बहुत नाराज हुए कि आप लोग ने gifts भी क्यों accept किया? His staff even came and returned the gifts we gave them as compensation to what they had done for us. So all I can say is that he rose very, very, very high uh, somewhere in my heart. And like I said, that mutual respect and love exists. And I think he somewhere along uh, is 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 one of the best friends that anyone can have. Wow, very nice. Yes, some more questions that we can have. Yeah. Uh, have your kids seen your movies? They watch. They've seen Andaz apna apna. 
the rest of it my daughter is not interested and they liked the uh yes they did they did and uh, yes actually they did You know, since the past one week, I'm only talking about memories. That's up now. That is when we were shooting that film, we didn't realize it's going to become such a big cult film. What it is now, amongst especially the even the more younger generation. So I think it's 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 awesome to uh, feel. Like I was telling someone, I don't know how that movie got made because nobody was talking to anyone in that movie. You know, it was it was it. I I really don't know how that got made, but. even though whatever problems or ego problems or issues we all had we still laughed in every scene and you can see that unfold i mean there are scenes where i'm actually laughing while saying the dialogues it is so funny it is good fun yeah uh, bhavna film banai ja rahi hai whom do you think do actors honi chahiye and actors wo bhi main answer kar chuki hu i feel ranbir should be playing amir uh and i feel uh, siddharth should be playing salman uh i should be playing me <laughs> no i um i think um uh, uh i think uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, katrina or or alia should be playing my role and uh, uh maybe pariniti should be playing lolo's role uh, you know i feel it yeah. it all boils down to that because i remember when rajkumar santoshi came to me with the script the first time he said i'm making archie you know so amir is archie you are veronica uh, lolo is betty and uh, jagger is uh, salman yeah, yeah. he was very very clear about it he said i am making archie and that's the that's what the basis of the film started with Tell me how is <laughs> how you have worked uh, of course with you know so many stars now the the scenario of working and filming has been so different what from you can we understand what is the difference exactly because i have only heard that it is very different up there and up bahut alag hai but exactly kya difference tha I think difference uh, definitely like I was telling someone that uh, uh, today's actors uh, monetarily get paid more than to in the the entourages have increased uh, they have vanity vans they have the best of technology and everything we when we used to be shooting we'd be changing in generator vans or you know uh, dress people would be holding chadars like this in somewhere and we'd be changing behind that and you know answering the call of nature in in, in the jungles it was literally like that <laughs> but the best part about all that was that we all bonded with each other there was a personal touch in everything nowadays the minute the shot is over everyone's on their ipods or ipad or iphone and into their vanity vans we had none of these things yeah we'd be sitting on location with our chairs and talking about each other bonding with each other talking about every anyone's family problems or whatever issues or girlfriend issues uh, you know heroes would be having or things like that everyone would bond like a family the choreographers the director the 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 cameraman you know now it's 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 everyone's too self absorbed i feel i feel everyone's becoming self absorbed either they're clicking their own selfies or it's instagram or it's chat chat snapchat or it's only that you know that feeling of bonding within Okay, so basically, I'm trying to say the friendship up then was a little different. Was strong. See, units used to become like a family. family in fact, when outdoors, like we actually in, during dinner, there'd be nothing to do. We'd be sitting around a bonfire and you know playing on takshri and dum shirads and things like that, which I feel somewhere is 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 not there in today's units. Now, the minute shooting is over, everyone's in their rooms, everyone's with their you know hooked up to some internet or something and doing their thing. Yes, so, you have some more questions, Ravina. जब लोग फिल्में देखने जाते हैं अक्सर हीरोज की बात करते हैं बट कुछ वक्त से हीरोइन भी फिल्म एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट प्ले करने लगी है वुमेन सेंट्रिक फिल्म द वर्ल्ड हैज बीन इवॉल्व आपके हिसाब से पहले और अब फिल्मों में क्या अंतर है अंतर ये पहले हीरोइन ओरिएंटेड बोलते थे अब आप वुमेन सेंट्रिक बोलते हैं सो दैट वुमेन सेंट्रिक जस्ट अ मॉडर्न वर्ड बट अदरवाइज आई थिंक दीज दीज कैन फिल्म हैव बीन मेड राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग आप अभी की बात नहीं कर सकते आप मदर इंडिया के टाइम से ले लीजिए ऑलवेज ऐसी पिक्चरें बनी है जहाँ इट इज आप आप मधुमति ले लीजिए आप मदर इंडिया ले लीजिए दे सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स आर आई कैन गिव राइट नाउ बट आई एम नॉट इन टच विथ ऑल दोज फिल्म एंड ओवर द ईयर्स दैट इज दैट दैट हैज एवरी जनरेशन और एवरी टाइम एवरी पीरियड एवरी डिकेड ऑफ फिल्म हैव हैड द शेयर ऑफ हीरोइन ओरिएटेड फिल्म तो ऐसी बात नहीं है बट रिसेंट टाइम्स में जब भी कोई फिल्म रिलीज होती है इट्स ऑलवेज बीन सेट शाहरुख्स फिल्म सलमान फिल्म्स एंड आमिर्स फिल्म्स चाहे हीरोइन का एक अच्छा किरदार भी हो तब भी उतना शेयर नहीं मिलता है वो डिपेंड करता है अब आप कैसी पिक्चरें करें अगर आप 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 हॉलीवुड में भी देखें 
तो मैं हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री की बात ही करूंगी मैं हॉलीवुड की भी बात करूंगी अगर आप देखेंगे तो अगर ओशन ट्वेल्व बन रही है तो उसमें भी जूलियर अवार्ड के दो ही सीन है आप ऐसी पिक्चरें आप डिपेंड करता है आप कैसी पिक्चरें उठा रहे हैं अगर अगर विद्या बालन की डर्टी पिक्चर रिलीज हुई है तो लोग यही बोलते हैं कि विद्या बालन की पिक्चर रिलीज हुई है उसमें वो नहीं बोलेंगे कि तुषार कपूर की पिक्चर रिलीज हुई उसमें यही उन्होंने कहा कि विद्या की रिलीज हुई सेम लाइक वाइज उसमें सेम वे में ये हुआ कि जहाँ अगर मरदानगी रिलीज हुई I don't know who her co-actor was, but everyone said Rani's picture release is happening. So it also depends on uh, you know who. I mean, when Daman was released, uh, Daman ke time ye hua ke Ravina ki picture release hui. Ye nahi hua ke Sanjay Suri ki picture release ho rahi hai. So it all depends who's doing what at what time, and I feel every generation. So it's not necessary now. And a lot of actors are turning producer also. For example, uh, lately uh, Priyanka Chopra is uh, coming up with Madam Ji. Unki khud ki picture. So of course, they are being Aaron's. Be apna ek hold bana rahe hain industry pe. Uh, most definitely, I think that's a great thing to expand. And uh, what more than to do it in the field that you are already known and you have your contacts in? Yes. Hi, Ravina. Uh, you've always been very upfront and bold about mm -hmm. so. What would you say is the boldest thing you've done? What What does I do? I can't understand <laughs> this. <laughs> bold, uh, bold and beautiful. Always my this thing headlines used to be bold. No, what bold have I done? No, no, no. I, I really want to know this impression that has gone across. So, what does that mean? Can you like little? For me, I think uh, bold would not only mean uh, say exposing or anything on screen, but it could also be you know in terms of your character. Like I would, I would consider bold as equivalent to being independent. So, I, mean, I think it's all about the attitude. You know, when yeah. you come across, speaking your own mind, you, come, you yeah. come across as so strong, opinionated yeah. person, very, very strong, strong individual. Like how many? I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. No, but it's really I'm, I'm, I'm not opinionated. Uh, I, 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 I do believe that. Uh, yeah, in in some sorts, you can say that is your opinion, but it cannot be everyone's opinion. I always let everyone also so, which is, that's free why think. Like you. That's why you know that what you're <laughs> do saying, their own you free thinking. Do their own free thinking. And views of everything. You're upfront. Like even what you shared with, uh, you know, like how you shared about your andaz of nafna situation. Like nobody was talking to. If there was somebody yeah, else okay. saying that. Uh, you know what? We were such good friends. We were this a kind of charging lot of situation. You just said we were not even talking. I didn't know how that conversation. It was such an honest opinion. I mean, on Jo's which actor will come up? I have done so many actor interviews. Nobody has come up with these kind of lines. Jo hai, so hai na. We usko change thodi kar sakte hain. That's what she meant. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I uh, yeah I have kind of always been like that. Uh, in fact, initially. Uh, by your own very lot, I was misunderstood a lot of times. That led to a lot of problems for being the way I was because, to a certain extent, people thought I was fake. But now it's been too many years, yeah, to you know, for the mask to fall. Uh, I believe people who do have that thing of pretending to be what they are not, how it must be so such a heavy burden for them, because how long can you keep that mask up, yeah? It has to fall someday. So. It's better just to be what you are and be comfortable and sleep with a clear conscience. <coughs> wow! Yes, we have. Ravina, you've done some really good socially conscious movies like Shul and Dhaman. Are you looking at doing something like that now? Um. Yes, definitely. If something really good and challenging comes along, uh, there are the the times when you know these kind of films do come. But ultimately, when they uh, are made, they kind of lose their realism along the way. and that happened with me a couple of times so i got a little disillusioned yeah. with that but if something definitely like that comes along i'll definitely i'll i'll surely be the first person to like i said i'm still not ready i'm uh, uh, i earlier on used to joke that if i do say yes to politics i'll be the first one to be assassinated because i'll always be speaking the truth <laughs> so i don't think i think my own party people will only say yaar isko band karo <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like I said, I, I I think you need to be ready to take on such a heavy responsibility. Uh, right now, my kids are a little small, and with balancing, you know, films and work and everything that I'm doing, my social activities as well, and children, it would be uh, it would be a lot because that is something that you've got to give yourself up 24/7. You know, so the day I'm ready to take that, maybe. Like I said, if you want to be the change, then maybe. But not yet. Yeah, maybe not. Ravi, how tough do you think uh, for an outsider to make a mark in Bollywood? You think as an actor or writer, director, how tough do you think them it is? It is tough. Uh, it is a struggle. But then uh, I've told, uh, I, I I say this very often: if you're hardworking, dedicated, 
and uh, you think uh, you know and and definitely talented or uh, you need to have a little talent I'm, i'm i'm sure you can leave a mark and i'm sure you can get achieve because my dad was someone who came into the industry with nothing he was a high court judge's son he ran away from agra medical school and came to become a hero he wanted to become a hero he and salim uncle they both wanted to become heroes they have got old pictures of their photo shoots <laughs> with cowboy hats and everything and uh, salim uncle became a writer and my dad became a producer director so i think it's it 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 if you have it in you and there is thodi kismat bhi saath deni chahiye kehte hain jab kismat saath deti hai to gadha bhi ghoda ho jata hai to us us pe bhi chance liya karo thoda no problem no worry this is one hi abina who's creation are you wearing right now <laughs> this is what i didn't uh, well it came in in uh, uh, it is it is i think archana coaches i could be very wrong i'm sorry i should have found out because i didn't know this is going to be asked but i is there a tag behind <laughs> i didn't check i actually just landed back from nepal early morning so i'm still little sleepy and jet lagged not there's only a 15 minute difference but i'm still jet lagged thank you so we were talking about politics you're getting into politics no i'm not getting into politics i would like like to clarify i'm not ready i'm not getting into politics but i am a socially aware person and my opinions like you said are strong even when i tweet so i guess that's why people follow me on twitter because i do uh, say things that i feel which are which should be politically right Okay, Rani. Then uh, you know you must have heard about the model policing which is going on, the kiss of love, which was uh, which is so out there. What are, what are your views? Because since I'm sure that you will come out uh, with some headstrong point here on this one. Uh, honestly, I haven't followed the story much. Like I said, I've just been traveling since the past. Uh, now the months constant um, traveling so it's about just the display motion the display uh, motion moral policing i think everyone has their own daira which they think is wrong mm-hmm. or right uh, i as far as i'm concerned i think uh, the only moral policing <laughs> that should be done is one within yourself uh, you should do like someone asked me oh you've never done you know revealing films and this and that you know roles in films i said because uh, what i'm comfortable doing i'll do and what i'm not comfortable doing i won't do so to a certain degree um we are not uh, we 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 are a democracy but uh, there are laws also against obscenity so <laughs> to a certain extent i think we should all follow what we think is comfortable within ourselves okay, but are you okay with youngsters holding their hands kissing uh, hugging in in public because how it is so so casual in the west we are not so that that's the whole moment about the kiss of love which is actually now happening in kerala and it was demolished in a very uh, I think there was some okay yeah so it's been actually carried for forward so are you open <coughs> to this idea about the public display of emotion and love? uh public display of affection if those two people are comfortable doing but then again there has to be limit because when it goes beyond a limit even in the US or even in the west <laughs> there is a certain limit that is allowed otherwise it it becomes it's, it's a law against obscenity Okay, well, I think that's that. Didn't I say that she will actually have a very strong opinion on this? But well, thank you so much. Really She's nice. so sweet, yeah.